Hello everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, we were talking right before we began the show about how many listings are out there right now. And it seems like right now is the time if you were in the market to buy a home to start looking. Absolutely. This is the time where you want to get on the websites, mm -hmm. you want to get in your car and do drive-bys because there are signs everywhere. In any market you're looking, not just Pikeville where we're filming, but in Johnson County, Floyd County, Lawrence County, there are listings right now available. And we're not just talking about Red Brown and Williams listings. Mm -hmm. We're talking about all kinds of different realtors and offices. But the good thing about it is once you find that realtor you like, hopefully one of your agents, <laughs> They can show you any of those houses. And, and is there one good website? And we push the Red Brown and Williams site a lot, mm -hmm. which is rbandw.com, but is there one that's gonna show other realtors also? Absolutely, what we recommend that you do is actually go to realtor.com. Our local MLS system actually feeds directly into realtor.com, mm -hmm. so it's the easiest place to get an overview of everything on the market. Right, and then we've talked about before the importance of go ahead and, and contact a, a realtor mm -hmm. and let them just say this is what I'm looking for they can find it absolutely and they can the our system gives us the ability to send emails with listings mm -hmm. that work exactly for you so you don't have to go through all the ones that you're not interested in take hours upon hours doing a search let us do the search and let us send you what we think fits best okay now hopefully we're going to show you five listings over the next few minutes and one of them may pique your interest so Let's start, before we get into the homes that are for sale, mm -hmm. we've got a commercial lease to talk about first. Yes, absolutely. This is one that's brand new and we wanted to go ahead and mention it for everybody. Um, this is a commercial office space lease that is mm -hmm. available in Pikeville, which as you know, does not come available very often. So we wanted to make sure and share it. Right, and this is one that you're, you're gonna see the pictures that are on the screen and you mm -hmm. see Pikeville Mini Storage. That's the storage unit facility next to uh, the Walters Ford lot. And this is going to be office space, not necessarily, it's not going to be a retail space. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be something where you're going to need the drive-by traffic. But this is perfect for somebody looking for office space. It will have marked uh, parking spots, you'll have areas for that. But this is perfect for just the office space. Great rooms, you have the ability to, to have all the space you would need for mm -hmm. multiple employees. It's just a great office option for anybody looking. And, and like we're talking about this, a CPA office mm -hmm. or um, a law office, something where you're going to see clients and people are going to come in. Like you said, it's not necessarily storefront, it's for business. Yes, and the, the great thing about it, it has a little bit of a natural place where you could do a break. So if mm -hmm. you actually wanted to separate it, if you only need part of it, there is a spot where they can easily put in a petition mm -hmm. and have two different office spaces. So maybe you're looking for an office, but you don't need 4,000 square feet. This is still something that you should really look at. Right, and this is a secure location too. Mm -hmm. I know they've got cameras and things back there because of the storage unit facility. So, exactly. I mean, you're not looking at anything where somebody's gonna be able to get in, vandalize or anything and get out really quickly. So if, if you're looking for business space, uh, in the city limits of Pikeville and you're, you're wanting to lease and not buy, definitely take a look at this commercial lease. Absolutely, and they do have some stipulations on it. They We put the $2,700 per month, a one year minimum, mm -hmm. but of course if they did a longer lease they would negotiate that sum. So Correct. if you have any interest just give us a call in our Pikeville office and we'll get you that information. Alright, let's give that Pikeville office number. Okay, that number is 606-437-2333. Okay. Now moving on from commercial, let's move into mm -hmm. some residential. Now this one is in Pike County on Little Robinson Creek. It is, and this is a brand new listing, one that we wanted to make sure to share with everybody today. You can see in the pictures, this one is the cutest little brick ranch house, and it's really not that little. I said that because it kind of goes together, but right. you're about 1,900 square feet. No, so that it's is a not a good little. size house. It sits on a total of 10 acres. Of course, your yard isn't 10 acres, but you right. have 10 acres of property. Estimated you're around two, out, two acres of property that is all fenced which is great because they've got an above ground pool they're going to leave with mm -hmm. it. You can have pets, you can do stuff with the kids, you can have extra storage. If you have, you know, there's a metal garage that's in the backyard that you can work on cars, you can, anything that you would want to do, you have the ability to do it here. 
And then, of course, that's everything on the outside. You still have the inside of the house, and you can tell from the pictures they've done a great job with it as well. Right, and like you said, you're under just under 2,000 square feet, um, and then they have taken the time to do some updates. Mm -hmm. if, if we're looking up the inside, you see the hardwood flooring, um, the crown molding. I think they've got a relatively new heat pump. Uh huh. Absolutely. And then they did light fixtures, stainless appliances, um, and it actually has a newer metal roof on it as well. So some of those main systems have been taken care of. And the thing that I also really like about this one, it's a three bedroom, two bath, but it does mm -hmm. have a separated space kind of off the kitchen that is a room to itself that's perfect for a den, a private office, anything like that. It could be a small bedroom, but you're probably going to use it more as office space or a den or something like that. But not a lot of ranch houses have that extra right. space, and this one does. So if we've said anything on this one to pique your interest, definitely give Jennifer a call. Um, the MLS number on this one is 107431. You can go ahead and pull it up online and look at it first and see all the details. Give her a call. Um, we talked about the Pikeville office a minute ago, but let's mm -hmm. give your email address. Okay, that's jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, and the price on this one, $181,000. So if this mm -hmm. is the market that you're in and you're looking, definitely get your showing scheduled. All right, moving along, staying in Pike County on the go to the other side of the county to mm -hmm. Elkhorn City. Yes, and again, another new listing, mm -hmm. and this is one, this is a foreclosure house. It's being sold, at, sold as is, so that's no warranties, no guarantees on any of the systems or anything like that. But this is one, and again, look at the pictures. You can right. tell this one has a lot of potential. We were talking beforehand and we were kind of going over directions. You sit very close to the Patty Loveless Drive. Mm -hmm. So you're on that end of the hill. When you turn on 6th Street from there, you're only about a block over. So you're not right. on the steep part. Your yard is fairly flat and usable, hence the pool and the patio area. But like you said, you're up there, you're close to the park, you're close to the theater, you're close to everything downtown, really close to the school. But right. you have all this space, you've got the pool, the pool is surrounded by a brick wall, so you have privacy. Mm -hmm. It's just a great location. Easy on this one to do a drive-by, but mm -hmm. you mentioned everything right there in Elkhorn City. Well, let's forget you've got the Break Center State Park Absolutely. within 10 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And the new construction of US 460, that's going to be open in the next few years which is going to make that drive to Pikeville so much simpler. It's a great location and if you're going towards the Jenkins area, you've mm -hmm. got 197 and you can take Elkhorn Creek very easily that direction. Correct. So definitely give them a call on this one. It needs a little attention, but sometimes that's good because mm -hmm. you can go in. I mean, you've got more than 2,100 square feet and basically a clean slate. And this is one you really can. You can look at the pricing. Mm -hmm. It's priced at 139 If you do your dollar amount per square foot, that's a good price for a house of this size. So you can right. go in, spend a little bit of money. You've already got the high ceilings. You've already got a really cute layout. You've got a master bedroom with a private bathroom. So all you're doing is hopefully some cosmetic stuff. Again, they can't guarantee right. what works, but hopefully you can go in, put a little money in it, and have your dream house. Is this your listing, I'm assuming? It is. All right, let's mm -hmm. give your throw your number out there again. Okay, the Pikeville office number 606-437-2333. All right, 107484 is that MLS number. Tell Jennifer that. She'll pull mm -hmm. it right up and get your showing scheduled. Absolutely. All right, now moving to the next house. This one's at Hillcrest Heights, which is just off of 119 near Kemper. Correct, correct. If you're going towards Kemper on 119, you're going to take the Kemper Phelps exit. Mm -hmm. Go down to the bottom of the hill. You're going to turn left like you're going towards Kemper, but then you're going to take an immediate right into Hillcrest Heights. So you are directly right off 119. Which means you are very close to Pikeville. Within 15 minutes, mm -hmm. you're going to be at anything that Pikeville has to offer. But then let's look the other direction. You've got Belfry, South Williamson, mm -hmm. uh, the Williamson area, anything on that side of the county you're accessible to. And this is one, again, you can look at the pictures. You can see this has great outdoor space. You've mm -hmm. got a private deck that kind of overlooks the creek. Um, you have a very large, you know, just the large driveway. You've got yes. room for probably eight cars in the driveway if you really wanted to. And one good thing about this one is it has two possibilities for master suites. So you have one on the main floor with the other bedrooms, which has an attached bathroom that's been completely renovated. Mm -hmm. You also have the bedroom down on the lower level that could be a family room, could be an office space. It's got a private bathroom, could also be a great in-law suite. I love the outdoor space. 
uh, that deck just mm -hmm. yells to me. But we've talked so many times about how outdoor spaces gives you so much more of a, a feel for more square footage. And this is one where you do that because that sits right off the, the open concept living room, dining mm -hmm. room, kitchen. So it'd be great for grilling and it'd be great for another dining room table. And the price on this one is going to scream family to a lot of people too <laughs> at $167,000. Uh, for this home. So if this is an area that you're familiar with or you're interested in moving to, uh, give Jennifer a call or let's give your email address one more time. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, 167 is the price on that one and this one's Hillcrest Heights. Now moving to the last one we're going to do, this one's actually in Floyd County. Correct. It's in Floyd County and this is actually, if you're coming from Pikeville mm -hmm. at the Allen Red Light, you're going to take a right like you're going towards Emma. You pass the elementary school and you're going to take the left on the bridge as you come right. into Emma and it's over in that bottom. A lot of space in there. It does have a formal dining room. You've got the kitchen with an eating area and then you've got all four bedrooms upstairs including a master with a private bath. You've got the two car garage mm -hmm. too. Um, so you've got places to park your vehicles or a vehicle and then storage space. Exactly. And it's actually an oversized two-car garage. So you can do two cars in it plus storage space. It's got a lot of room in there. And that third bathroom that we were talking about, that actually is connected to the garage. Mm -hmm. So if you have anybody that works outside, likes outdoor activities, and you don't want them running through the house to get to the restroom. I.e. a little mud. There you go. This is a great house because you have a full bathroom. It's as nice as anyone in, in the house. I mean, it's a really nice bathroom and it sits right off the garage. So it's very convenient for any of those those times that you don't want them running through the house. And then you've got a screen deck. We haven't mm -hmm. mentioned that one too. That's nice for these evenings that we've got right now. Just sitting outside in the evenings or maybe a, a Sunday morning. Same thing that we've mentioned on the other ones. You've got the outdoor space. Mm -hmm. And then I personally love the front porch on this one because it's perfect for two little rocking chairs. Under 130000 125 for mm -hmm. uh, this home in Floyd County. So, you know, this one's an attractive price if somebody's in the market for a home in the Floyd County area. So, not far off of US 23, convenient to a lot of things in that area. Absolutely. Okay, give Jennifer a call on this one and that Pikeville office number? Is 606-437-2333. Okay, and like we started out the show, always remember you can go to their website, mm -hmm. rbandw.com and see all of the Red Runner Williams listings, or go to realtor.com and see all the listings in the area and give a Red Runner Williams office a call. Go ahead and get your realtor uh, secured on your side and start looking at some homes. Absolutely, we'd love to help you. All right, I want to step out and let Jennifer do her real estate minute. Have you ever wondered what you can do to sell your home quicker, to get more money, or to make the process a bit easier? In the current real estate market, there isn't much about the process that is easy. It takes patience, persistence, and a lot of faith and trust in those people assisting you through the process. But there are a few things you can do as a homeowner to help the process move along. First, prepare your home for showings by decluttering, working on your curb appeal, and making your home stand out in the crowd of comparable listings. Second, price the home smartly. Use the knowledge of your realtor to price your home competitively. Third, make sure you know all you can about your own financing. Do you know your house payoff? Do you know of any liens on your property or current legal action? Do you have all necessary paperwork to sell, including power of attorney, wills, divorce decrees, or any additional paperwork that might affect a possible closing? You want to be prepared, and by you being prepared, the process will move more smoothly and efficiently. Thank you for joining us for the Ray Brown and Williams Show. We hope you will call an RBNW agent for all your real estate needs.